Helen Bendler, who incidentally, to write this book, learned all of Shakespeare's 154 sonnets by heart. So if you want to be a scholar, uh, you know, you might consider what real scholars do. Paul Cantor's here, and um, you know, I know he knows a lot of Shakespeare by heart. Has said that the lyric is both more and less than a story. That the true actors in lyrics are words, not dramatic persons. And that's kind of been my approach today. Before I begin a discussion about specific choreographers working to imagine Shakespeare's work in dance on stage, I would be remiss not to mention many of the instances in which dance emerges in the action of the plays themselves, and discuss some of the reasons scholars say he included so many instances of dance. Shakespeare seemed to understand the central role dance plays in societies, and often makes social dance forms a major point of connection between characters and to provide context about character development and their positions in the hierarchy of society. Shakespeare is living in a Christian country. Um, it's no longer pagan antiquity. Does he think that the tragedy of Rome has lessons for his own time? Would he have thought that? And if so, what? Well, yes. I mean, uh, the the lesson of Shakespeare is that uh, from the Roman Republic is that Republican life is superior as political life, but republics can corrupt themselves by empire. Focusing upon timeless and universal truths, aphorisms and sententiae were highly prized in the Renaissance for their capacity to signal learning and wisdom. Short, punchy, and eloquent, they tended to suppress the first-person perspective in favor of universal pronouncements. Henry V is supposed to try to get his men to go over the breach and take, take the town. If he was to do this in the regular Iambic pentameter, it would sound like this. Once more, and two, the breach, dear friends, once more. Does anybody want to go over the wall? No, probably not. But if you stress the, the syllables the way they look on the page, in a natural way, you get once more into the breach, dear friends, once more. I think Shakespeare's actually created a universe in these plays, the Shakespearean cosmos. And I'll say this, uh, uh, if one wanted to understand Western civilization, one could do stupider things than to spend one's life studying Shakespeare's plays. I think if one ever could understand how they all fit together, and by the way, I don't claim to do that, uh, but if one could, I think it would be, give us a deep insight into Western civilization and what our, our, its components are and how they work together and how they work against each other.